everybody, it's Bunny, and today we are going to be reviving a series that we have not done in a long, long time. Some of you guys may remember this, and some of you guys, uh, this might be your first experience with Can It Curl. In the past, we have done Cheetos, marshmallows, Barbie dolls, fidget spinners, tampons. We've done a lot of crazy stuff, but there is one item that you guys have been requesting me to try and curl my hair with for years, and I've never done it. So today, we are gonna be curling my hair with candy canes. I bought this many candy canes. This whole bag is full of candy canes. 911, somebody send help. We're gonna be reviving our good friend, uh, Tubi. Did we ever give him a name? Ooh. Before we get started, we need to have a sippy sippy. We need to get extra sassy, and I feel like we also need to evoke the magic of peppermint fairies. Peppermint fairies, <laughs> bless us with beautiful curly hair, thank you. Is anybody else obsessed with this fragrance from Bad Beth and Body Works? Who is Beth? Who's Beth? Oh, right in the tonsils too. Anyway, it smells very good. Just not for your mouth, not mouthwash, but it's twisted peppermint. I literally have the body splash, the lotion, the hand sanitizer, the room air freshener, and it is right in my mouth hole. So my hair is very moist. It's fresh from the shower. I'm gonna use these first. I'm like, I have to have pretty candy canes to curl my hair with. I actually have high hopes for this. Place your bets now if this is gonna be cute or a catastrophe. I mean, it is like a straight cylindrical object. So in theory, it should be relatively easy to wrap my hair around and curl. They're also really lightweight. So I feel like, unlike the fidget spinner catastrophe, I think that was my last can it curl. It just killed my spirit so much to put 500 pounds of fidget spinners on my head uh, that I just Never did this series again. I don't see how this can go wrong. There was an Instagram video that was going viral for quite some time and a girl used straws to curl her hair. I mean, these are thicker than straws, uh, but she used straws to curl her hair and it turned out gorgeous. I forgot to get bobby pins. I'm a flipping genius. All right, well, I'll be back. Later that same evening. Leave it in a comment down below. Will this work? How long will it take? Will I still have hair when I'm done? Will it look good? We're gonna attempt to answer all of these questions and more by the end of the video. Now this hair is dry. Oh my God. Oh, there we go. I was like, <laughs> okay. Hmm. Oh my God, I forgot that terrible like cringy ripping sound every time I try and put this stuff in my hair. It's like, you're looking good so far. We're at the halfway mark. The plastic is uh, pretty itchy on my forehead. So far, this is going swimmingly. It doesn't really hurt, it's just itchy. It doesn't feel too heavy on my head. So far, I haven't had any of them like fall out, but this is actually, oh, I spoke too soon. Um, I feel like that is the hardest part of these videos is finding like all the scalp space 
to tack these items down to. This is the only one that fell. You just, you had to make me look stupid, didn't you? I say, as I cover my head in candy canes. I'm trying to spread the hair out so that it's not too thick in any one place. So hopefully the curls will dry fully and evenly. The only thing that kind of scares me is I did feel one tiny sticky spot, which makes me think that some of the wrappers might be coming unwrapped. And the combination of damp hair and then heat in a minute, plus sticky candy in my hair, that might be kind of frightening, but stick around, we'll find out together. Ooh, I just put a bobby pin through my earring. That's gonna feel great later. It took almost four full packages of candy canes. Here is what we have. And I still will say, this is probably the easiest one I've ever done. The only difficult thing about it was I felt like I had to use such small sections of hair that I did run out of scalp room pretty much. And to tack them to the back, it was a little bit hard. Oh no, I just lost one. I don't feel like it will take too long to dry. I feel like in the past, the most successful runs we've had with these is when my hair is just slightly moist, not too damp, not too dry, kind of right there in that sweet spot. I really hope my hair is not going to be caked in sugar by the time I'm done. Time for the most magical, warm, special toasty portion of this video, and that is hair dryer time. And there are just a few of these little babies left. My Gator hair dryers, I believe are almost all sold out. The sets are all sold out now. The curling wands are all sold out now. So the only two things left is the hair dryer by itself, my sweet little baby, and the flat iron by itself. I'm not sure if they're ever gonna re-release it again, um, or if it's just kind of this one run and done, we shall see. If you wanted to snag one of my gator dryers, you might wanna do it quick because they're almost all gone. I feel like this is always like the second most challenging portion of these videos is to try get the bonnet over all of my hair. So far, so every time I say so far, Every time I say so far so good, uh, something unfortunate happens. I'm trying to keep the hair and the candy canes in there, but be able to see. And I think, oh no, oh no. You know what, this one's just a goner. Goodbye, we don't need you. Almost there, nope, don't have eyes now. Pretty, pretty important. Don't have ears, can't hear anything. Uh, let's just make it work, how long can it take? Oh, oh, I won't have eyes or ears for the next 30 minutes, but let's just pretend like this is a weird sort of deprivation tank. I'm gonna try and go into a relaxing place in my mind and let my magical candy cane hair dry. I'll see you guys in 30 minutes, literally. All right, you guys, it's time to deflate my magic hair mushroom. I almost feel as if I don't have eyes anymore. They're so dry and crusty, but I think that my candy cane mess that I've created should be nice and crispy. Been sitting here for more than 45 minutes, so it should, it should be done. You know what? I'm gonna just spot dry a couple more areas. The only thing that I'm concerned about is maybe um, having to like layer the hair over and over again in one spot. Maybe like the very innermost last portion of my hair might not be completely dry. So I'm actually gonna just blast it a little bit more because I did feel a couple wet spots. Mostly it's dry. This one is hanging on by a prayer. Oh no! <laughs> I wonder if I can slide them out and then remove the bobby pins. Oh, oh this one is like bending. It's so warm, which is a little bit frightening. It didn't break. It's just like 
kind of melted in there. This might be my favorite can it curl ever. This is looking pretty cool, honestly. We've never been able to remove the item, but still have my hair curled. It's the little things in life that really fascinate me. I feel like some of these top ones, I basically had to bobby pin one candy cane to another candy cane. Ooh, this one did have like a little bit of exposed candy. I'm feeling something sticky. That's never a phrase you want to hear when your head is covered in candy. It almost looks like tiny little cocoons. Like maybe moths could come and live in my hair. Wouldn't that be magical? Who wants a hairy candy cane? This is what we have now. And honestly, I love this aesthetic. Headache. Makes me look a little deranged. Kind of makes me think of like, oh, found a candy cane. Think that this was our first one in? It's been many hours, so. I don't remember what I did first. What are we gonna get? It won't uncurl. <laughs> magical, very magical. I am loving where this is going. I honestly should have put like 10 pounds of extensions in my hair so that I really could have had like a Oh, this is glorious. <gasps> you guys, if you're in a pinch and you don't have any hair curlers, but you have about 50 candy canes and two hours with nothing better to do with your life, then I highly recommend you test this out. I should just make a new product that's plastic candy cane shaped curlers. Oh my God, if I did that and put little clips on the end, so that it was so easy for you to curl your hair. Does anybody at home wanna look like this? Excuse me for a second, I'm gonna dig all these bobby pins out of my hair and then we'll like, <laughs> you know what I mean? I tried to keep the curls like kind of tightly wrapped until we had this reveal moment. So this is what they look like, sans bobby pins. I think all the bobby pins are gone but I won't swear to that. I might uh, fall asleep with some in my head. That's kind of, I feel like far less than I've had to use to secure any other wacky thing in my hair. I am gonna try and like stretch some of these curls out. As always, I do feel like it got a little crazy in the back. Like there are just some pieces that I clearly didn't get it all, so uh, they kind of stick out like a sore thumb. But most of these in the front look so awesome. Wish that my hair was naturally curly. I feel like my mom always said that to me when I was little, is it's like you kind of always want physical features that you don't have. Like I think very curly hair is just gorgeous. My hair is like naturally wavy, but definitely not curly. Like I wish my hair had like really tight spiral curls. I did once in my life get a perm and that was terrible. There's like something weird about my hair where it's more porous, I think, than a lot of other people's hair. And so that rotten egg perm smell, if you guys have ever smelled a perm, um, there's like some treatment portion that they put on your hair and it literally actually smells like rotten eggs. And you guys, that smell stuck with me for months. So you can imagine I was very popular as a freshman in high school. That's the only bad thing I feel about all Can It Curls is it's like this top part of my hair always looks super flat and plastered to my head. Um, Cause I feel like it's hard to get the items like right up close to the scalp to create any like curl and body like you normally would with just a curling iron or something. I kind of always have to like, you know, do something with the front of my hair to like hide my scalp. I feel like we got pretty impressive, pretty good looking results. I'm not sure if that's a great style, but that's it for today's video. If you would like for me to revive this series, let me know. Leave me a comment down below of what I should try and curl my hair with next. Thank you guys so, so much for hanging out today and for watching. I love you guys so, so much, and I will see y'all tomorrow. Bye!